Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about the price of an action. It sounds self-explanatory, but I thought I would cover this because this works in sales, your own personal day-to-day. -day. It's really great in debate. It's really just a great opposite side of the mindset that a lot of people haven't thought about. So let's get this show on the road. What is it? So the price of an action is what happens if you do not do the thing that you know you, and I'm gonna drop the big S here, should do all those things that are very difficult and so what are those exactly the shoulds or the actions that would produce the desirable outcomes that we want we all want them i want to have a six pack i want to be wealthy i want to have great skills i want to be able to do the thing better than anyone else any of those things come at the cost of what comfort they come at the price of comfort it doesn't matter what it is you have to pay forward in pain and comfort to get the thing and now you might be thinking well it doesn't necessarily hurt to do these things well maybe not however to that point you have to choose between the things you want to do right now or the thing that will yield the outcome that you want and staying the same is comfort that's what it is the way i look at it is trying to pull as much pain from the future to today so that you don't have to endure it later so if you have like a timeline and there's pain all through here but there's also pleasure all through here imagine if you just squeeze all the pain into one side and that way 75 percent of the timeline on the opposite side of the scale is just all joy pleasure good stuff you know all the things we want it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter what the skill it doesn't matter what the outcome that fits for just about all of them like if you look at going to the gym you want to get a six pack okay well that means you're probably gonna have to run a lot you're probably gonna have to eat the healthy thing you're probably gonna have to go to the gym a lot and you're gonna have to lift heavy things constantly if you enjoy that well then cool you enjoy the pain you don't have to worry about anything if you don't enjoy that and that's probably most of us it's a necessary evil that's how you get from point a to point b it is what it is bringing this back to change all change is or sorry, change occurs when, I think I'm gonna mess this up, but I'm gonna do it anyway. The pain of inaction outweighs the pain of action or the pain of change, that's all it is. If you were comfortable, you wouldn't change anything because you were comfortable. But if something that you really, really, really just do not accept, do not enjoy happens to you, that's when change happens. And really, that's all it comes down to. If you want the outcome that you want in your life and you know the change, the biggest part, part that you can do for yourself is understand it and constantly, constantly, constantly tie your current situation to the pain of not having the big thing that you want and really drill down into it. The more that you can delve into whatever that pain is, the better you will be. And I say this from personal experience. This isn't me like telling you. This is things that I've found for myself. It, who, buddy, I'm going to save this for another day, but the mind trick of being able to convince yourself that your current situation sucks significantly more than if you had the other thing or the desired outcome is how you make it easy to hyper-focus on something to get the desired outcome. That discrepancy between where you are and where you want to be and how how much that feels for me personally that's what i have found makes it easy to do the difficult thing acknowledging that you want the desired outcome understanding or sorry really delving into the pain of where you are now versus where you want to be and really 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 hyper focusing on that and making sure it hurts as much as possible and tying it to where you are right now and that's how you trick your mind into change the price of an action what happens if I do not do the things that would yield the good result? What is that? If I don't go to the gym to get a six pack and I don't eat properly to get a six pack, what happens? Well, okay, if I if I gain five pounds this year, or sorry, this month, what happens in six months? 30 pounds. If I gained 20 pounds this year, what happens in three years? 60 pounds. That is what the inaction or the cost of inaction is there is 
I can run towards this side and do all the things that I'm supposed to do and get those desired outcomes, or I can do not those things, and this is what it will look like from not doing it. It's a continuum. You can sometimes do it and sometimes not do it and land somewhere in the middle. And that's stagnation. You will stay exactly where you are. But typically, the way things go is if you look at your actions and repeat them over a long enough time horizon, i.e., multiply it by three years, five years, 10 years, what would I look like if I did exactly what I did right now on top of whatever like things that would happen in between there? Buddy, that's enough to be a wake-up call. At least it was for me. So I hope that helps you. I didn't really have anything else to tell you guys today. My name is Matthew Holland, and my goal is to teach you all the tested tips and tricks to actually make you successful and get you what you want in life. Thank you so, 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 so much for tuning in with me here again today. Matthew Holland, signing off.